Mm-hmm. That's all about the spirit. Spirit, yeah, for freedom. Yeah, for freedom. Yep, and、uh, welcome back. We are very happy to be here because, like, this is a very special day. We're gonna do a very、Absolutely. special stream. Yes, guys,、uh, welcome. Thanks for being here. I know that many people are joining gradually.、Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have all the audience at the moment. Yeah. So,、um, booming tech today. We would like to present you the upcoming seasons units.、Yeah. Uh, my name is Anton Mamigonov.、Yeah. Morgengrad, as some people know me, I'm a creative director of the game, and、uh, we have Conqueror's Brad here. Yeah, Brad, if you、mm. watch the CDO a lot, you, you will so so familiar with me because I. Always there. <laughs> yes,、um, actually, Conqueror's Bread is the carry of the whole CBL process, and actually, he helps not not helps, but actually leads the localization、yeah. for our、uh, Japanese, Korean, and many others、uh, languages. So,、uh, I would、yeah. like I would love to applaud to all the hard work that you are doing, but、yeah. more guys, I would like、mm-hmm. to applaud to your love to the game and、mm-hmm. your support. So,、um, Highlanders, Highlanders, Conqueror's Bread,、yep. finally. It's been、uh, it's been quite a while since we did、uh, historically inspired seasons. So we had、uh, season tyranny、um, that is much more inspired by、uh, fantasy and、yeah. uh, um, quite、uh, science fiction yep.、uh, design. Yep.、Uh, and we now actually bringing Scotland as the key point、yeah. uh, with all the bravery points, with all this spirit fighting for for freedom and defending their homeland, going all against the odds. And today, guys,、uh, thank you for being here. We'd like to present you a couple of things about the upcoming season, and、mm-hmm. talk about the units, how we actually、uh, designed those, and why we did that. And first of all, if possible,、um, one thing that、uh, we would like to do at the moment is go through a couple of new features in the game. While you are, of course, very hardcore, and our core uh, players. Uh, You may not be creating new characters very soon,、yep. but we'd like to show that、uh, we much care about new players, and we want to show you how new players' experience is being improving. And while showing you that, we know that、uh, maybe you have some questions on Twitch.、Yep. We have a、um, uh, we have the, the the Twitch chat over here. So yeah, uh, uh, while、um, we're going to be showing you the、uh, character creation process and、mm-hmm. the、uh, upgraded tutorial before going to units. Please send your messages and your questions to Twitch, and、uh, we will try to reply to all of these, whether it's、uh, in regard of the game design or any other、uh, things that、yeah. uh, you're interested in.、Yeah. So, guys,、um, I believe that if our team could now provide the uh, uh, streaming of the screen,、yeah. let's create a new character.、Yeah. So、uh, we have pre-made one, but let's go with the uh, uh, new a、uh, new logic for the character creation. Actually, I, I, I'm so obsessed with the, the artwork for this season, the, the Highlanders.、Mm. So beautiful, and even the background of us, you know, today you can see the, the atmosphere. Yeah, we are hit the vibe. Yeah, we tried to、uh, actually de- deliver the point of atmospheric、uh, landscapes of Scotland, and also、uh, we cannot claim that we tried to design the、uh, season to be absolutely historically accurate, because、oh, as you know, Congress Bread,、uh, our game is not.、Uh, A historical game. It's inspired by history, so you can see some kilts and uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the how units and BP looks like. We used kilts, the、uh, skirts. We know that in the、uh, like 12th, 13th centuries, they, that was not the case. So people did not wear that. But we had to intentionally just highlight one of the key visual features of Scotland. So、uh, those、yeah. claims of players saying that okay, kilts is not the case、uh, for like 13th, 12th century. Yeah, absolutely correct. But、yeah. still,、uh, this is one of the features.、Yeah. So guys, yeah. So here you see the、um, uh, working process, new character creation yeah. UI. Yeah, you can、so、say that man was like、uh, was walking from the far to to here. Yeah, yeah these are、uh, small details. We know that it's、mm-hmm. not something that we could impress our、uh, yeah. core users with. But、uh, we just wanted to highlight that some small things we are already always working on this、yep. on this stuff, and、uh, character creation、uh, user interface is going to be improving gradually throughout、uh, the following like two three seasons. We're going to be adding more visual options to、uh, faces, hairstyles.、Mm-hmm. So we will have uh, different uh, races,、yep. more Caucasians, more Africans. 
uh, more uh, different nationalities over there. So we're trying to improve that. So let's just uh, randomly create one character, guys, and just uh, jump into the game. And guys, uh, unfortunately, you're seeing uh, only Chinese language mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because we're streaming both for uh, our Chinese and foreign communities. So hopefully, good for you, uh, for you this thing. Also, a good, a good practice, eh? Mm -hmm. To memorize yeah. them. So, uh, what name we're gonna we're gonna pick? Come on. Uh huh. Mm. Uh. A question from our Korean player, please no more, uh, please fix unit balance, no more overpowered. Um, regarding balancing issues, I believe that this is going to be one of the hottest topics uh, during any live stream with, the, uh, uh, with our team. And guys, uh, there is an announcement coming very soon. And uh, I just want, without going into any details, this issue of balancing is taken very seriously and uh, we would like to uh, make a very serious official announcement and uh, I'm not going to be going into uh, very thorough details regarding that. So pick a name. Uh, hi, Highlanders. Hi, Highlanders. Yeah. Okay, we have Chinese language here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, a question from the proof uh, regarding whether pipe backpipers can help to penetrate pike units. Uh, they actually can't help you with that. Basically, what they do is uh, they are providing uh, numerical buffs to defense and attack. And very soon we're gonna show in detail how, it wor how it's working. So yeah, guys. Uh, very quickly, like I believe that you have gone through the whole process of picking a new character. Uh, I'm gonna be picking Longsword uh, just intuitively because uh, I believe that Longsword is a class that has much love uh, for the upcoming season. Not in regard of balancing, but by being rewarded by the support role that it has, because we have added a new system that uh, calculates all the um, all the benefits that you bring to your team by healing them, by buffing them, and applying crowd control effects mm -hmm. to your enemies. So um, you can um, actually get higher to in the score in the scoreboard by playing long swords and buffing your your allies. So we hope not. Uh, we hope to motivate uh, you guys to feel more rewarded of playing a supportive role in the game, and this is one of the reasons why we are adding bagpipers. Um, so um, long sword bagpipers, let's make some love, not war. All right. Yeah, still about the the unit balance yeah, question. Yes. Yeah, and we have like. A just like uh, give an explain to that. It's like uh, we take this really seriously and uh, we, we, d we do not want to say any units like a kind of uh, uh, so overpowered, so we'll try our best, but for now we just cannot. Uh, uh, yes, I told you, but uh, balance, balancing in uh, our game it's a continuous process and there are multiple factors to be considered on. And, uh, we realize our responsibility about all the uh, uh, mistakes that being done, and uh, we know the current situation and uh, all the topics that are bothering you guys. While you may think that we are ignoring messages on social media and uh, during our streams, we actually don't. We very thoroughly go through this, mm -hmm. and uh, we recently had very serious. Uh, adjustments to how we're going to be addressing certain issues and as i said without going any certain details there is going to be a very uh, soon to make announcement that we have so hopeful i'm hopeful for your patience guys and i'll try to do my personal best to address this issue. 
So yeah guys, so like for the new uh, new player experience basically, uh, while we have this uh, chat with you on Twitch, uh, we realized that uh, new players that come from different games like first uh, person shooters or uh, MMORPG games, they get quite um, frustrated and they don't have a very clear understanding of game mechanics, so we actually uh, changed the logic of the player tutorial, so we uh, decided to bring back the uh, uh, tutorial level for how to control the units in the beginning, and also added some voiceovers uh, for uh, this process to make it more interactive. And again guys, we know that this is uh, a thing that is working, uh, working progress thing. Uh, we are not trying to impress you with some, some breakthroughs here, but trying to manage um, just... Uh, uh, how we could improve uh, the uh, current yeah. cur cur current uh, system, and in the future uh, we are also planning uh, the whole revamp of uh, the tutorial system. Yeah, and the Scotland the Brave tune is must have for those bagpipers. Um, you will be quite pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, guys, you know, like um, uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> much involved into the uh, audio design of the game and uh, we had uh, much uh, discussion regarding uh, how we're gonna um, approach the uh, musical and audio design of bagpipers. Mm -hmm. So we went through the mentioned composition and um, uh, we are cooperating with the, um, a team uh, from, uh, from New York uh, two of them are actually native uh, Brits. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure whether they're Scottish, though. That, that, that should be clarified. But um, they uh, they provided us with musical compositions yeah. for the bagpipe units. And in the future, actually, I, I believe that we could expand the whole roster of the music that they have. So, Scotland the Brave and some other tunes. Uh, you will you will notice <laughs> you will notice many many references. Oh, can you turn down game volume a bit? It is very loud. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask our director to, uh, to lower it. Yes, guys, volume. apologies yeah. apologies for that. We, mm, you know, like, we don't have an opportunity to talk with you uh, mm -hmm. as we are doing now, unfortunately, and it's a, a few days before the release, so the whole office is going crazy. And um, please forgive us for this uh, mistake with the uh, volume. Yeah. And also, Glaive need a buff. Who? Glaive. Glaive. Yeah, but also someone is uh, <laughs> cheering for Longsword. Yeah, lo Longsword, you mean like Longsword and Shield? Yeah, Longsword and Shield, yeah. Um, again, guys, you know, like, I think balancing issues could be uh, discussed indefinitely. I mm, personally also agree that some classes, maybe Glaive, Nodachi, yeah. and others need some more love. And uh, I believe that we uh, now um, are going through, as I said, a reorganization of the whole balancing process. Maybe we can, like, uh, change so you will see uh, many improvements the within the months. In game by ourselves. The first one, and there goes the, the sound. Yeah. It's too loud. Yeah. All right, guys, so 50%. Yep. Yeah, so we still kept Algolia as the uh, tutorial part, and um, basically a uh, majority of tooltips that we added and uh, voiceovers, uh, they are just designated to be helping new players. It's Is he talking only about Boomy? No, we're talking about the Conqueror's Blade. Yes, uh, actually... Uh, uh, as the developers mm -hmm. and creators of this game, uh, we have to take the responsibility of uh, whatever happens to the game, disregard publishing and territorial matters. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe that we're talking about uh, Conqueror's Blade and Global. All right, hopefully we can take this point. I know that we can because tutorials are not meant to be challenging much. <laughs> yeah, but I die once. Yeah, 
But actually, you know, yes, one, one fun fact, you know, mm -hmm. like while uh, been going through statistics of the tutorial and players' performances, uh, Dual Blade yeah. was the most unsuccessful class for the, uh, for the tutorial part. It's actually uh, the class that died the most time during yeah. the tutorial. All right, let's clear these guys out. Majority of my unit is already dead, and unfortunately, I can't see. Conqueror's bread. How do you think? Should we adjust the graphics a little bit here? Because it seems a little bit too dark right now. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's kind of maybe too the dark. sky box yeah. for the tutorial. You know, yeah. it, it feels so green and dark. Yeah, and what do you guys think? You can yeah, just guys, how it. how you think? Like yeah. you know, the, this this atmosphere is very dark. Mm -hmm. Uh, while it's achieving the certain point, um, do you think we should uh, change the uh, skybox? Maybe they make it like a uh, daytime. And let us know. Let, let's make some change based on your opinion. Yeah. Actually, you know, like uh, while playing Conqueror's, uh, Conqueror's Blade for thousands of hours, mm -hmm. I still haven't unlocked this unit. I never tried to. <laughs> the men at, men, men, at, men at arms, right? Yeah, men at arms. Paladins yeah. in uh, on my game's version. I actually never, uh, never played this unit. You never played this unit? No. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I have. I played. Yeah, I, I was like uh, playing on the internal version while mm -hmm. creating it, but uh, on against the players in matchmaking, never. Yeah, if this unit go promoted. You know, that unit yeah, yeah, it was uh, season, tanky, season yeah. five promotional game. Yeah, I love that unit. What are your favorite units? Yeah, I play, I play in LA and uh, and uh, and the JC. Uh, JC? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Uh, yeah, well, I thought you were asking me uh, what kind of server I'm playing. No, no, no. Uh, what uh, what unit do you prefer? Yeah, what unit do you prefer? Yeah, I, I prefer Man at Arms and Imperial Guards. Okay. Yeah, I love them very much. Cause, the like, Pikeman, you know, right? The, the Imperial Pikeman, Pikeman. Yeah, Imperial Pikeman. The Imperial Guard, Pikeman guy. Yeah, they have the advanced ability that is yeah. very um, Yeah, maybe very I think that the majority, the, the major problem for, for the Imperial Guards is that uh, they move very slow. But yeah. they're super very powerful, and I love their style. Yeah, and the uh, crowd control effect mm -hmm. from their uh, from their advance yeah. is very powerful. Yeah, when doing the charges, Imperial Guards give the enemy feels like a, a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. How do you guys feel about Imperial Guards? Like sometimes uh, there is a claim that Imperial Guards may be bringing too much utility uh, utility options to the battlefield because they mm -hmm. can both counter counter uh, infantry and cavalry. So. Um, do you think that they're uh, well placed at the moment based on their leadership price, or you would prefer some changes to that? Yeah, I, pr I prefer well, uh, we will have some uh, changes to that. So we will have many changes in the future, I promise yeah. you that, because yeah. for majority of units. Yeah. Okay, let's finish these guys off. So, wait, do we have any questions from Twitch, or uh, not yet? Yeah, not yet. And uh, just to give it the tutorials and go for the meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You know, who would we be if we did not listen to the players? Actually, <laughs> you want to skip the tutorial? You know, like, I, yeah. I, I, I tried so hard uh -huh. to give the option of skip the tutorial. It uh -huh. was not a popular decision, yeah. but I'm yeah. going to use it now because, yeah. as, as it uh, proved, <laughs> many players <laughs> want to skip the tutorial. I also don't like tutorials. Yeah. Okay, uh, help yeah, me to navigate. It is a little dark, yeah, player said, because like uh, our stream is a little bit like a delay. This one? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Right. All right, guys, the tutorial was mm -hmm. close to be uh, ended anyway. So, mm -hmm. um, again, uh, why not to skip it if you like it? So, uh, three units that we're going to mm -hmm. choose. Uh, yeah. You remember that we give this system, so it does not uh, influence this much mm -hmm. on our test build. Yeah. And we're here for the main tree to talk about Highlanders design yeah. and yeah. the units that are evading you in the season. And guys, you know, like um, um, for the last two seasons, me personally was not much involved in the production process. Yeah. I had a I had a son uh, coming and uh, spent much time uh, solving some stuff. But Scottish season is. Um, 
is something that uh, we've been working on and it's mm -hmm. much inspired by history and one of the, our main criteria for unit design was to bring some new gameplay mechanics. Yeah. Uh, and also back to the topic that uh, if we make if we should make the the, the map uh, brighter, and uh, some players said dark is good, tired of uh, the bright maps, and uh, some players uh, add a flame to light it up because like it's, uh, no. flames. Yeah, flames. That's a good yeah. point because if you have darkness and you bring some light yeah, fire, yeah, fire, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good point. the the lock so, uh, lock sword Athena he said uh, let it stay dark but make some fires. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so uh, after creation of the new character, players are going to be thrown to the uh, uh, destructed mm -hmm. Conqueror City. But again, what we are here to show you is uh, new units. And uh, we've uh, been going through the design decision of how we're going to uh, present units to the players. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, unfortunately, there is a certain... Um, certain challenge of uh, presenting the battle pass mm -hmm. and F5 interface when players reach level 15. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, yeah, we can like uh, change the account here. And uh, Yes, yeah, let's so change the account. Yeah, no, not this one. Not this one. Uh, the second one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And here, yeah, and uh, pick the, the first character, Highlanders. Yeah. Laudachi. And actually, guys, uh, mm -hmm. uh, being very curious about your, uh, your, your, your thinking, uh, when players create a new character, should they be uh, seeing all the seasonal content in the mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. or they should achieve a uh, certain level, reach some certain level of their character before they see the seasonal content? Because at the moment we have uh, level 15, yeah. the, minimum, the minimum entry point to seasonal content. All right. So... Season Highlanders. Season Highlanders. Three units. Oh, so we have Backpipers. We have Claimers. Bravehearts. Yeah. My favorites. And we have uh, Deerhound Dogs with yeah. Hunters. Huntsmen, yeah. And we call them Huntsmen. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, Tier 5 is the first unit in the game that features animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. um, it was uh, a total headache for our design uh, design team to create the logic of how unit unit yep. behaves, but hopefully you will enjoy it. And uh, bagpipers again, uh, we put it as a priority to be bringing a totally different gameplay to what we have uh, made before, because mm -hmm. soon we have 100 units in the game, and if basically every season we are bringing. Uh, pikemen or swordsmen, mm -hmm. yep. there should be a key point, a standout point for this. And uh, we hope to bring more classes and new unit types. So, bagpipers. So, these guys basically are opened with four uh, level uh, challenges. Uh, the third one is going to give you the doctrine, the fourth one is the avatar, yeah. and the second mm -hmm. one is going to yeah. unlock the unit. So, it's a pretty easy and straightforward way to do. And uh, for many players, maybe, uh, and most certainly, uh, it's not a type of the unit that uh, you guys are going to be uh, playing if you like de be dealing damage, because this unit does not deal any damage. Basically, you need to manage their position and uh, let your teammates to receive buffs that are provided by, the, by this unit. And um, while designing this season, basically, uh, Backpipes is a very uh, important key uh, audio and visual mm -hmm. element of the mm -hmm. whole culture of uh, Scotland. So um, I think like Scottish people, they have much proud and uh, bagpipers. We just had to highlight these warriors. We don't take them as artists uh, as mm -hmm. per se. We think that uh, these these people are are fighters and they are they are soldiers and uh, they, their role. It's not about swinging the sword but you can be brave and you can influence the whole course of the battle yeah. just by uh, inspiring the others, reminding them what they're fighting yeah. for. So uh, it's a very emotional unit, I think. Yeah, and, and also the very first kind of it. It is, yeah. it is. And uh, we hope that uh, you will try it out and uh, give your feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll try to experiment more with these kind of decisions. Yeah. 
So, uh, the second unit is one of the, I, the most iconic yep. things about Scotland, uh, Claymore, Claymore Infantry. Okay. So actually, this is my favorite. Your favorite? Yeah. yeah my this favorite. is this is the unit that I actually designed from this every single element, including the the the, the, the gameplay of it. Like part part of part of my job is to design the visual audio, mm -hmm. but this unit, a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Basically, so guys, um, the the key point of the uh, uh, tier four unit design is bravery and inspiring the others by the example, because uh, during uh, making the research about uh, historical references, I we have realized that. Uh, Scottish, uh, they, so some of them were actually mercenaries, some of them yeah. served in uh, militaries of French, of English, but mm -hmm. during the uh, uh, medieval, medieval ages, like 12th, 13th, they, they just fought for, for, their, uh, for their clans, for their independence, and the majority of the time they were, they were farmers. Mm -hmm. So they're not professional warriors, as per se, but what stood out uh, what makes Scottish season different is the spirit and the um, there I don't know like there is some soul inside mm -hmm. this bravery yeah. and this the, this feeling of I I'm ready to sacrifice myself Self, yeah. and I'm gonna go against the odds and I think that this unit symbolizes it all they don't have the best equipment they don't have mm -hmm. the best armor their swords may not be yeah. the most epic their skill they are not the most elegant swordsmen in the world, mm -hmm. but they dare to fight all against the odds. Yeah. And while you are seeing this unit charging, and all the other soldiers see that they're being inspired, they feel like I'm going to fight for freedom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fight for Scotland. So uh, we added uh, some buffs to abilities of this unit. So basically, they they will be charging and they will be uh, cleaving through the enemies yeah. and shouting and inspiring all the other troops. To fight for Scotland, yeah. and the third ability is basically their last stand for for Scotland for freedom. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, much uh, much uh, similar to to Berserker's uh, mm -hmm. ability. Yeah. But uh, while you activate that thing, yeah. the first aspect is that the uh, the cooldown is like 70 seconds at the moment. We're gonna use that, mm -hmm. but uh, it gives uh, buffs to damage, and your first and second skill are changed they're improved mm -hmm. and after s doing their last stand they suffer a very very powerful debuff yeah. so actually what you need to do you need to charge into the enemy above your allies mm -hmm. then when the odds are pretty much equal you hit the ultimate ability mm -hmm. but you need to pull up the unit before it mm -hmm. ends because yeah. if it ends the debuff of damage on the unit is going to be very crucial. They can die, so it's much of uh, uh, multitasking with that unit. Yeah. And our stars, Hunzman. Hunzman. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Introduce the unit, please. <laughs> yeah. This unit, uh, obviously, they have a dog. They have dogs, right? This is uh, pretty that, that, That's a quiet, you know, like, <laughs> I, I like how much detail-oriented you are. You have noticed yeah. that small detail. That, yeah, that's for, astonishing. For, for this unit, actually, uh, they have, like, a new mechanic in, 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 this, uh, in this unit. Actually, you can uh, control your dogs, and also you can control the units himself, uh, themselves. And uh, in, in the battle, you can press, uh, like, press two or three. I, 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 don't, I don't remember that exactly. Because like your dog will be released and uh, to charge for the enemies, and uh, then you can call them back and also can deal uh, damages. And at uh, the same time, your the, the the units themselves they can shoot, yeah, shoot enemies. They uh, act, you, you know they, at least uh, they are shoot uh, archers. So of course they yeah. can shoot uh, arrows to the enemies, can deal damage. And it's pretty cool. It's kind of a very different feeling. Like uh, well, in a battle, you 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 leading your unit and also leading a, a group of dogs. <laughs> yeah, a that's pack kind of, of funny. Dogs, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and and also dogs they get run faster than th this unit. So yeah. yeah, in a battle you can say sometimes the the dogs already there, but you need to stay like behind them. Yes, and guys, you know, like uh, while you've been addressing some balancing issues, mm -hmm. uh, the upcoming season units. Uh, we uh, were trying to create some gameplay that is much demanding in regard mm -hmm. of how you're going to be controlling the unit. So basically, you cannot just charge forward and expect yeah. that uh, they, they're going to crush everyone. And for a tier 5 unit, basically, they apply bleeding effect with their arrows. And they're, they are carrying these short swords, uh, short short bows. Uh, I'm sorry for, uh, for that. 
and uh, dogs are actually hit and run thing. Yeah. So you, ne you need to pick a position when you can let your dogs charge, yeah. Yeah. and then you call the dogs back and apply bleeding to weak spots of the enemy. It's a, you know, guys, it's a very fun unit to play. Uh, mm -hmm. no, uh, no, no cheating you about that. Really, yeah. really, really nice. And so, a new map we're not going to be showing tonight, yeah. right? Yeah, so. uh, very soon, guys, we spent a lot of time with the artists and the design team to create the new map. And uh, I think you will like it, honestly. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice map. Yeah, it's a nice map. So, let's play some Siege. We're going to show some units, units? Yeah. Uh, their gameplay. And very soon, I believe tomorrow or yeah. the day after, we have yeah. a presentation yeah. of the new map. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, yeah, please leave uh, your questions on the the comment on the comments, and we will read your question and uh, we'll pick some of them to answer your question. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, both me and mm. Conqueror's Bread, mm -hmm. we play No Dachi. We know that it's not the most powerful or most popular who class. Cares? Yeah, but but who cares? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I who just, cares? I just, I just love Much this. more satisfaction winning mm. with underpowered stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. So what are we going to be playing first? Which unit? Come on, you decide. The first message that is going to be sent, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Yeah. Just send a message and we pick that unit first. Okay? How you think? Yeah. Which should uh, players pick? <laughs> yeah, if I say we go the fourth one. <laughs> 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 I said we'll, we'll start the game with the... The, the Hunsman. Hunsman, eh? Yeah. All right. So yeah. we have Doggy. Yeah, we have Doggy. From Longsword Athena. Mm -hmm. Dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doggies. Yeah, a lot of you guys are, are pet lovers. Yeah. Yes, of course. But yeah. th this is the point, you know? Like, we need to bring something new. <laughs> yeah. Animals. What is the breed of the dog? It's Deerhound. Deerhound. It's uh, one of the breeds that is mm -hmm. uh, most uh, iconic in Great Britain as far as it goes. So, Deerhound. All right, guys. So, as you see, uh, let's have a uh, quick presentation. You'd better give us some dog skins. For oh, for different breeds. We, <laughs> we are considering that. <laughs> Actually, guys, if you feel like uh, you would like to, to have that, I think it's also really fun, you know? Like, yeah. we have. Uh, Majority of people had a dog pet yeah, in their yeah, life, yeah, and it's yeah. very nice to yeah. to have it in the game. So if you feel like we want you want to change a breed, I think it, it could be considered. We can mm. add different breeds, so why not? All right, guys. So basically, um, Hunsman, they're um, not not so young people. They're yeah. like after their forties, fifties, yeah. and they they are like pet not not patriots of their country, but they have families and they just. Uh, lone survivors and lone people who hunt and they were summoned to to war just to defend their homeland so they bring their they bring their hounds to war so they're carrying these short bows uh, their accuracy is very high so this unit is very very uh, well used for sniping enemy heroes yeah. so a uh, bleeding effect is also very high so you can be uh, not penetrating uh, very heavy armor of units like uh, modal but bleeding effect will deal a lot of damage. So the first skill that we have is basically uh, making the unit to shoot three arrows in a yeah. very, very short time. Yeah. So it's like a um, boost uh, to, to damage, and mm -hmm. uh, you can snipe a hero with that. The second skill, and especially the veteran tree for that, would allow mm -hmm. you to uh, choose an area and shoot arrows over there and applying slow effect to sure. your enemies. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, actually slow down the advance of the enemies and uh, focus fire with it. But the main cause of the unit, basically, they are fast moving. So you need to pick a flanking position against your yeah. enemy and choose a moment when you will use your pack of the dogs yeah. to, to, to charge dogs in. And they're going to be biting and killing your enemies. Mm -hmm. And the third skill, after after it's being released, it's changing to call the dogs back. So if you feel like you made a yeah. mistake or you want to call the okay. dogs back, yeah. you can click the same button and uh, charge them back. So um, it's a lot of micromanagement with this unit. They have mm -hmm. two uh, stances, two formations. F1 would bring a dog with their master uh, next to them. So, and the second one will basically make the dogs uh, be standing in front of the uh, in front of the archers. 
the, this will slow down the advance of the enemy. But again, you have to manage uh, the hit points and the amount of models from yeah. the both sides. So be careful not to lo lose dogs. Yeah. They don't have armor. And guys, you know, like um, for this season, we've been cooperating with native natives uh, from Scotland. So all the voiceovers are uh, made by native speakers, and we. Um, during the design, mm -hmm. I really try to bring more slang and more words that are only used by the native speakers. And there is some charm in Scottish accent. I know that many, mm -hmm. <laughs> many people don't understand <laughs> the meaning of these, uh, th these words. And, uh, but, but there is something about that, so we try to put more yeah. of that. So uh, this unit is going to be stronger than Shopbook Hero. Uh, guys, to be honest, I'm not going to be talking about balance today because mm -hmm. uh, there is an upcoming PTR test mm -hmm. and the current version of the numerical balance is not yeah. finished. We're still adjusting that and uh, basically whatever you will see uh, during the following two weeks about tier 5 is not mm -hmm. finished numerically balancing. Yeah. yeah. And the one funny comment. I have an American Bulldog. Can my dog be friendly with that dog in the fighting game? <laughs> Um, I believe like uh, it's our responsibility mm -hmm. to listen to players' <laughs> feedback and uh, maybe we can make a vote on Discord mm -hmm. what dog breeds uh, you want to bring to the game. Yeah, and uh, here is a question. Will you be releasing concept arts of the game? Mm, I think we could do that, especially mm -hmm. while designing units for, uh, for the seasons. This, this stuff after the season is released, we could show uh, the show you guys what was the thinking process and the concept arts uh, of the units and the maps. Mm, I think that that would actually just be a nice content to see. It's a good idea, guys. I, I will discuss it with the team. Thank you. Okay, so majority of my archers have already been uh, dead. I'm not using uh, my uh, hero that much. I'm just uh, running around with the unit. So the next, the next unit that we're gonna be playing, I believe. Which one you wanna play? Um, based on the situation on the battlefield at the moment, I think like we can do do uh, claymores. But we only have like 90 seconds to introduce the unit. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned that that may be not enough. All right, guys. So here are the come. So the animations we actually are cooperating with a uh, uh, famous company in Shanghai and uh, very famous uh, motion capture actors. Mm -hmm. So they're actually professional uh, fighters, and um, uh, we we had this cooperation for already like this is the third season. So like starting with uh, season uh, D Dynasty, mm -hmm. then Tyranny, yeah. and this one. So. Um, the second skill actually lets them to cleave through the enemies, applying buffs to the uh, surrounding allies. The first skill is a uh, almost classical charge ability, but mm -hmm. they inspire all the other uh, allies yeah. with their courage, so uh, and giving them some buff for defense. And the third skill is for freedom. Yeah, so for freedom. this is the ultimate skill that makes them go into enraged state, then the first and the second ability is much more powerful. And the ability lasts for 15 seconds, and um, you will hear the drum music mm -hmm. while uh, the ability is activated, and after it expires you will see the white effect that becomes a black uh, visual effect of the debuff. And this unit is going to be suffering uh, very, very serious uh, debuff to their defense and spe movement yeah. speed. So um, you need to be very, be very careful about how you manage uh, the uh, claimer mm -hmm. units. Yeah. So fighting blobs, uh, charge in front, buff your allies, hit the ultimate ability, fight with it for like 13 seconds. Mm -hmm. Then you have two seconds to retreat, yeah. suffer the buff, mm -hmm. then maybe uh, uh, heal the unit and repeat again. Yeah. 
All right, let's do another siege and try out the backpipers. Backpipers. And guys, if you have any questions <coughs> yeah. in regard of units, uh, just bring those. Could we get capes like the NPCs have in the cities in regards to uh, slots for capes? Could we also maybe get a reward? Slot for capes? Yes, actually, guys, I know that this is very popular demand uh, among among you, and uh, we've, we've noticed that uh, you, were, you were asking for that. And uh, we are now um, changing mm -hmm. the uh, user uh, interface for character creation and customization yeah. items. So we'll be adding some more uh, features. For example, for the upcoming season, you will have an ability to apply a tattoo or a war paint uh, to, to, your, to your hero. And capes are also considered. So it, this is uh, sooner or later. Uh, yeah. We will bring it on, but there is no official uh, timeline for that. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, and uh, when is the patch notes uh, be released? I think uh, the patch, note will, patch notes will be released uh, before the new seasons come, uh, about like uh, two days or one yeah. day. Early. Yeah, 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 very soon, guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah. actually, you know, like uh, just uh, getting back to the balancing issues that are in the game, uh, as I said, there is a, uh, an announcement coming. So the patch notes that are going to be released are just mm, yeah. um, a very, very small thing in regard of balance. And uh, we will make some serious adjustments in the follow-up weeks. So don't judge uh, mm -hmm. about the balance by the seasonal patch notes just yet, please. All right. Actually, this is one of my favorite maps, Conqueror's Brad. Yeah. Small, tiny. And a lot of action is going on. Yeah, so. and uh, here comes a question for this uh, for the tier tier five unit. Yeah. Yeah. If grandpa, <laughs> if grandpa <laughs> di dies first, <laughs> dogs will fight, but dogs will run away. They will fight. They will fight. Yeah. They will. They will bring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, vengeance. Yeah, it's fair to say. Yeah, <laughs> they are yes. grandpa. Actually, during the design, guys, you know, like we considered uh, whether uh, a, a master of a, mm. or a mm. pet dies whether the surviving party should receive some buffs. Yeah. You know, like, because they being angry, they lose a friend. Mm -hmm. Should they uh, have some buff damage? My, my dog has died, I want to revenge. Mm -hmm. Or my mm -hmm. dog's yeah. master has died. Yeah. So actually, guys, you know, like, we have a few weeks uh, before the release of this unit. And um, we have these options on the table. So bring your opinion. Uh, let's discuss uh, yeah. how you feel this game should be played better. In that regard. Yeah. So, bagpipers, just a quick introduction, guys. I'm sorry yeah. for interrupting your questions. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, dancing yeah, animations. Dance, dancing guy. You know, like, first, first, you know, like, I was very much against mm -hmm. the, uh, these, these playful animations and just asked to uh, motion capture actors mm -hmm. to, like, make animations, like, serious animations and playful animations. Then we will decide. But, as you said, you know, yeah. games should bring some joy. And I believe mm -hmm. that. Sometimes while they're dancing and being a little bit uh, un unorthodoxal, mm -hmm. it's quite interesting for an idol in animation. So hopefully our players also can give some feedback. So for the first ability, guys, so when you press button one, yeah. you will have a area, an area uh, in a radius uh, highlighted with mm -hmm. a red effect that shows uh, the uh, um, buff area for the unit and they are going to be increasing the uh, uh, attack capabilities yeah. and stats of all surrounding units by 18 yeah. percent. So the music is going to be played, you will hear some cool tunes over there and we're going to be adding mm -hmm. some more music in the future and uh, uh, you can judge by all the units that are being buffed with these notes uh, yeah. <laughs> effects. Yeah. So then you can switch to the defending ability which is highlighted mm -hmm. with blue uh, same effects with the different colors and the defense buff is 10% at the moment but again uh, these things can be adjusted and we are going to be analyzing the data and trying to make the unit mm -hmm. to be very useful over there. Yeah. So uh, all the units being buffed, you, I think uh, because you are much more professional in playing competitively our game, yeah. we are too busy with creating it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, you will see uh, how to use both abilities in what, on what occasions. And the third ability is uh, letting you to improve the uh, uh, amount of and quality of the buff of yeah. the corresponding music that mm -hmm. is being played. So yeah. basically, if you have activated the first skill or the second one, when you press the third one, yeah. for 10 seconds, you're going to be 
having an improved version of that buff. So for defense currently it's 13.5% and for attack in 12 seconds we will see how many percent is that. So the music mu audio effect is going to be letting you know that there is the uh, ultimate version of the corresponding buff. Yeah. So the hit points of the units uh, of the units you you see that the uh, uh, count is only 6 people. We did not want to bring too many of these because historically uh, there were like uh, one big piper on the battlefield for tens and tens of soldiers. So um, we, we wanted to bring a support class, but we could not uh, agree on spamming like 20 people in one, one squad. When one person dies, the buff effect is going to be reduced. So basically if you're going to have like two bagpipers standing and playing their music, it's going to be very different to compare it if they would have six people in the squad. So you need to be careful and not to let your people die in order to provide uh, higher buff effects. And uh, yeah, for attack ability, it's 18% at the moment. Again, uh, it, all these numbers are, are going to be adjusted in, in the future based on the especially CBL results. So they actually can move while playing. So you can let your uh, you can let your uh, bagpipers to follow you. They're going to be, be playing music. The animations are going to be different based on the uh, tune that they're playing. Yeah. And their hit points currently is uh, when they reach the maximum level, it's around like 13k. So uh, while they don't have much of uh, much of armor, mm -hmm. yeah. they have uh, enough of hit points to withstand a couple of. 3-4 headshots from Longo Hero. So you need to be careful and just provide buffs. And a very important point is that, as mentioned before, we added the mechanics that uh, uh, calculates all the effort you put in supporting your units. So basically, if you use a uh, longsword or backpipers or shield maidens or mm -hmm. glaive buffing the surrounding people, you will have points and uh, it, will have, it will much help you becoming an M MVP during the match. Yeah, some players thought that uh, this unit is very suitable for territory war. Yeah, but I think it depends on your tactics. Yeah, yeah. it much depends yeah. on your tactics, yeah. guys. And yeah. you know, like, uh, totally, totally understandable that many players claim, oh, mm -hmm. this is so u so useless, so so uh, not, not useful unit. But you know, mm -hmm. guys, uh, it's much about the um, the amount of leadership that you bring to the battlefield and uh, this unit does not cost as much as other tier 3 units so the, mm -hmm. the leadership price is very low and uh, basically it's very important that uh, you can be concentrating on your hero skills and dueling with the mm -hmm. others yeah. while this guy is giving passive buff so am amount of attention you put to this unit and based on the leadership price and mm -hmm. the outcome the buffs that you give to the team mm -hmm. it's actually a very useful thing yeah. All right, so these NPCs unfortunately cannot go through the through the gate. Let's yeah. help him a little bit. I'm a traitor. I'm opening yeah. the gate to the enemy. Come inside, boys. So how about you, Conqueror's Bread? What do you think about bagpipers yeah. at the moment? Bagpipers, I think uh, for me, uh, if I played Conqueror's Blade with my friends, yeah. and we had like a like, like have some cooperation. Yeah. Uh, we we play it together, and I think this unit will be super useful because like we have our own plans and we know our goals, and the, this unit can, can buff my teammates, and, and so my teammates can buff me, and so it will be a lot of fun. And uh, you know, and also the the factor is that you bring a band to the to the to the battleground. You know, this is so so much fun. Yeah, yeah. and you know like. There, there, there were a mm -hmm. uh, few design points and challenges that uh, we had about whether all the players can hear mm -hmm. the music mm -hmm. or only the yeah. owner of yeah. the unit can hear the music. But you know, like when the season is going to release, guys, I know that uh, bagpipes is not uh, the most pleasant musical instrument to yeah. some players. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound is very like, mm, has its own flavor, cultural. but. When Highlanders will release, you know, yeah, just hoping that we have some fun and just few bagpipers playing from b both sides mm -hmm. and make it a little bit crazy, make some fun for a couple of days. So uh, the music is going to be heard for everyone later. Later we can adjust that, guys. So bring your feedback on that. 
All right, so uh, I believe that we played a bit, but we haven't shown the tier four unit during the battle. Yeah. You so think we should? I, I think I think that we're running out of time. Okay, then yeah. uh, just very quick review yeah. of the. Um, let's go with the veteran tree. Yeah. Because I think like many players are going to be interested yeah, about, that. about that. Yeah. But the only problem, Conqueror's Bread, is that we have a Chinese version. So unfortunately, yeah, so the majority of players are not going to be able to understand the. Mm. the yeah. Uh, yeah, because like this is just a PTR version. This yeah, guys. Is not a very yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And again, as, as mentioned, I have to apologize. Mm -hmm. We are streaming for both Chinese communities mm -hmm. and uh, global communities mm -hmm. in yeah. English. So um, I believe that very very soon during PTR, many influencers, mm -hmm. YouTubers, yeah, yeah, at the same time, yeah. are gonna show all the details. Yeah. And only one thing that uh, we would like to ask, don't judge much about the balance because yep. uh, it's the most interesting thing, you know, like to compare one v one situation for mm -hmm. every unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, for PTR, this is all work in progress. So um, don't, uh, don't overthink or judge yeah. too, too, too early, guys. Whether yeah. it's overpowered or underpowered, mm -hmm. we will try to control these things. Yeah. And uh, after this show, uh, our creative content, uh, the streamers, our our streamers uh, will continue the, the stream in, in in their in their channel. So after the show, you guys can uh, go to check their channels and uh, to know more about uh, the the PTR stuff. Yeah, guys. So please, you know, uh, we have uh, much of dedicated content creators who love the game, same of as I do. Conqueror's Bread mm -hmm. does, and our team. We play and we love the game, and we know that uh, there are many challenges, many mistakes being made, and we take the responsibility for all these mistakes in regard of balance or uh, uh -huh. the performance of the game, whatever. But uh, the only thing that we would like to urge you is to support your streamers, to support your content creators, because they're mm -hmm. working very hard. Yeah. They're so much passionate. Yeah. And it's hours and hours sometimes sacrificing their personal life mm -hmm. because yeah. of the passion that they have to the game. Yeah. So please follow your favorite streamers, your favorite YouTubers, show them some love, mm -hmm. uh, just give them some likes. It's a... Uh, I think that that would be a good thing to do, guys. And yeah. um, we would do the same as well. Yeah. And uh, also the, the new season will be uh, released on uh, December 21st. We need to mention that again. So you guys, I know you yeah. are uh, very like uh, looking forward to to this season. I, I see some comments that uh, they are can't, can't wait for uh, trying them out. Like uh, not so many days, guys. <laughs> yeah, not so many days, guys. Yeah. And uh, you know, like um, uh, we have limited tools, mm -hmm. uh, limited time. But we were trying to create some new gameplay mechanics uh, for the units in this season. And the new map uh, that is going to be presented to you very soon also features mm -hmm. some new design ideas. Hopefully you will like it, and for the future announcement, mm -hmm. you will be surprised for year 2022 in regard how the game is going to be developing, because mm -hmm. we are taking a very courageous and very risky steps on uh, reapproaching the whole balancing, uh, the whole yeah. content creation, gameplay mechanics, and so on. So, Conqueror's Blade is uh, going through reformation, and mm -hmm. uh, you will have much new information very, very soon, guys. Yeah, and uh, after the, the PTR stream uh, at uh, 7.30 uh, UTC Plus 8, and we're going to have... Like 7.30 uh, uh, Beijing time, right? Beijing time, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we're going to have like uh, the games for Asia Division, the, the finals for lowest CBL. bracket, and also the, the finals for winner's bracket. We are going to decide the, the, the rosters for the finals. Asia division. So, guys, after the after the show, uh, please stay tuned, and uh, we are gonna have like a very very good uh, CBL games for you guys. Yes, yeah, so much competitive. You know, like yeah. uh, CBL, mm -hmm. like some teams, yeah. uh, uh, immense amount of skill, yeah, immense yeah. amount of dedication, yeah, cooperation. Yeah. This is yeah, insane. Those, those teams, insane. yeah. All right, guys. Yep. So uh, I think that our time has uh, run off already. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. These are like three units that we are bringing for the upcoming season, and mm -hmm. there are going to be surprises in the second half of the season. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. Good surprises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't 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 uh, think uh, overthink anything bad. Mm -hmm. So, guys, uh, first of all, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for supporting this game, playing it. And um, we know what's going on. We know all the challenges the game has been going through. We will try to improve. We will try to do our best in that. So please understand that we hear you. We know what's going on. And very soon, 
there is going to be a, a totally new approach to many processes. Mm -hmm. So welcome to Highlander season. Yeah. Hopefully you will like it, people. Enjoy the music, enjoy the spirit of Scottish people. They deserve some love, they deserve some respect. And it was a great pleasure to be mm -hmm. designing and yeah. creating this season, guys. Hopefully you like it. Thank you very much. It's me, Morgengrat. And this and is Brad. Brad, mm -hmm. we'll yeah. see you very soon see on the battlefield, guys. Yeah. Welcome. See you guys. Bye.